Hello, hello, Jeff Helvin here with Balan Brands. And today I wanna to show you how to update your logo in the header of an Elementor website. So there are different themes, different styles uh, that go into play. We can have headers that look like this. This is our theme three that we have for our real estate websites that we build. I can also show you our theme one, for example, that has a different layout. Uh, with the logo over here on the left and navigation to the right. So there's there's different themes and different layouts. But what I want to show you today is that I simply want to update the logo. Okay, so the logo is um, maybe I got a new logo designed. Uh, maybe in real estate, I'm with a different brokerage. So I need to update the brokerage logo, things like that. Um, this would be where this comes in handy. Now, what we don't want to do is have to update this in many places. Okay, so the logo might appear here in the header, it might appear on another page. Um, so we we have in Elementor what's called site elements. Now, I'm going to show you here. I'm logged in to the admin, and up here with Edit with Elementor, I want to change something that's up here in the header. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to Home Page Header. All right, now when I click on that, it gives me, brings up my Elementor interface. So it loads the page here on the right-hand side and it loads all the uh, widgets and elements over here on the left-hand side. Now you'll see over here, there's actually a site logo widget. So this is where if I'm gonna use a logo in other spots on the website, I actually wanna use this site logo option because what that means is that when I change the site logo in the system, it'll update it everywhere else. Rather than just using the normal image um, element, I don't wanna use the image element because if I do that and I choose my logo, well, it's not gonna update in all spots when I make the change. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click here. If I hover over, you see the little pencil icon shows up. So I'm gonna click this little edit. And over here, you'll see it says site logo. So this is where it's like, well, where do I go now? I mean, it says site logo, but I can't change it. Right? There's not an option to choose another image. So anytime you see something like site logo, site URL, uh, those particular things, we're going to click up here on this little, uh, what we call the hamburger menu. And then we're going to come up here to site settings. Okay, so again, these are things that affect the overall website, not just this page or you know this particular theme, but really everything that's built into the website. So if I click site settings, now I have a lot of different options here. Colors, fonts, typography, buttons, images, form fields, site identity. So in this case, I actually wanna do site identity. Okay, the logo is part of the identity of the website. So I'm gonna click on site identity and here we go. Now you can see that this is the image that's here in the header. So if I click here to choose image and I go to a different one, let's say I wanna use this as the site logo. I'll go ahead and hit insert media there. And now this is what that would look like. So I can go ahead and click update. And I kind of have to, the page hasn't reloaded for me here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the page again. Oops, wrong one, wrong site. There we go, pull that up here. All right, so now we see that. Of course, this is not a great logo. It doesn't look good, it's hard to see. Um, but just to kind of show you that that's what, you know, how that'll play out and what that actually looks like. Now, the other little thing on that same uh, theme or on that same element that we just edited is what's called the fav icon. So if you notice right here, it turns into an X when I hover over it. But right there, there's that little logo that's called the fav icon. It's what shows up on the web browser uh, for those different, uh, you know, on the tabs when people pull those up. And if I save it as a bookmark, it would show up as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to this home page header and I'm going to change this back to my actual logo that I want it to be. There we go. Insert media. And then here you'll see this site fav icon. So I can choose another one, another, a different option to, for the actual fav icon as well. So that's, that's built in right here also. Let's see. Did I choose that here? Insert media. There we go. Oh, it's because I didn't reload the page. Let me reload this since I kind of went in and came back to it. So let me reload that here. Okay, now I can click on this. Click again over here. I see it says site logo. So I'll click on the hamburger menu, click on site settings, go to site identity, and then now let me change this image. 
it was a little confused because I hadn't actually reloaded that page, so it still thought it was pulling up the right one. Perfect. Now hit update. Now if I reload the page, or click that little back to editor, reload this here. All right, this page will load. There we go. Now I see what I was looking for here. So um, sometimes when we change graphics or images, it may not show right away. It's because uh, your browser has cached the original image and may not be updating it. Uh, but definitely just try you know, a new, new browser window, reload the page, make sure you see that update that you're looking for after you make the change. So if you have any other questions on that and, or anything else we can help you with, you can email us at team at